Hi everybody, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can connect Dreamweaver to your local host server. That would be um, MAMP if you were on a Mac machine, and WAMP if you were on Windows. I am on Windows here, so I will be showing you how to use uh, WAMP in this particular example. So to start, I'm going to click on the WAMP icon, which I already have WAMP installed, and turn it on. The server icon over here in the toolbar goes from red to green showing me that the servers are now online and at this point if I open up any browser and type in localhost this will bring me to an index of all of the projects that I have in my WAMP folder. I can find the files here by opening up the file explorer let me just size this for you and if I go to my computer C drive WAMP is going to install itself in its own folder called WAMP here and inside there these are all the files that make WAMP work but we're most concerned with what's here in the www folder this is where all of our projects live and if we look at the WAMP www folder and the index of localhost this is the same set of files. This is them running in a browser showing you as the website would display online. Uh, and if I open this up I see all these files. Here I have already installed a WordPress installation in this folder called WordPress Demo. And here if I click in a browser and I click on WordPress Demo this shows you the actual site. So between manipulating the files and looking at the actual site and actually through a browser you can go in through the WordPress dashboard and manipulate the back end of WordPress you can start to make your site uh, in, basically into anything you want. Uh, to do this, to actually manipulate these files over here uh, you have to have a text editor and you have to uh, edit these using a te text editor. Uh, one of those that I will be using today is Dreamweaver. So if I start up Dreamweaver what we want to do is set up a site that connects to these files over here which essentially live at this address c slash wamp slash www slash wordpress demo and to do that I come over to Dreamweaver I click on site new site and here in the site name it really can be anything this is just for your organization I'm gonna say WordPress demo to be consistent and now I want to find the local site folder and to do that I'm going to browse I'm already in the WW but let me start from the top here here I'm in the C, C folder for my C drive scroll down to WAMP click on WAMP go inside the www folder and now I want to go inside my project which is this WordPress demo and this is where I want to set up my site through Dreamweaver so I'm going to click select and save it's now going to index all of the files that are here inside the www uh, WordPress demo folder that I set up and just like that now we have a listing of all of our files here in Dreamweaver and we can start to work with them and save them through Dreamweaver. To actually select uh, WAMP as a uh, an active server that we can bounce these files off of and have WAMP uh, uh, compile the actual uh, site that we would be looking at, uh, we just have to set up our local host. To do that I'm going to go back over to site manage site since this is not a new site we just created the site I now want to manage the site and I want to select WordPress demo to manage to edit this I'm gonna click this little pencil which is Adobe's icon for editing sites in Dreamweaver click on that and here we have my WordPress demo this is everything we just set up about 30 seconds ago and what I want to do is come over here to servers we have no servers assigned with this. If you were working online and 
Uh, this would be where you would set up an FTP connection to your live online server, but since we're working locally, um, some of the settings are different, but the process is pretty much the same. I'm going to click this plus icon to add a new server, and it's going to ask some information. I am going to name this server WAMP. This is my WAMP server. I am going to be connecting to it not through FTP, which is how you would connect online. Uh, I'm going to click local because this is a local server. I will now find the WordPress demo. This is my server folder. This is where I want to be working out of. I'm going to click select that and this is once again found in the C, WAMP, WW and then into your project folder. So this is WordPress demo and I'm going to click select. Now we want the web URL and the web URL is essentially this. If we opened up a browser, what is the URL address that we use to get to the front page? And this is going to be um, inside localhost and it's going to be named after the folder that you've placed this project into. So this is right here, localhost slash WordPress demo. That is the web URL I want to set up making sure not to duplicate that HTTP. There we go, and now I will save. And one last thing, I just want to click on testing. This is my testing server, and save. A cache will now be created. That's fine. Let it index all the files that are in there, and when you're done, click done. To test to make sure that everything's working, here in the main root of our project, we're going to open up index.php, not the index.php that is included with individual themes of WordPress, but the index.php that is here at the root level, along with the three main folders of WordPress and a handful of uh, loose files. We want this index.php right here. So I'm going to open that up. And this is the primary index.php page of WordPress. This kicks off the entire WordPress mechanism. To actually see if we have our site up and running and connected to our local host, I'm going to click split in Dreamweaver. So now I can see the code and I can see the actual website and then I'm just going to turn on the live view. And there it is. There is my WordPress website inside Dreamweaver right next to the editable code looking exactly like it would in a browser and we've just connected Dreamweaver to our local host. Um, so thanks.